channel. For those of you who don't know me or who've never been here before, welcome. My name's Rachel. I'm the owner of The Eclectic Cottage here in Spokane, Washington. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I know mine was busy as always. I had to go do some running around on Sunday and so I ended up taking my daughter with me on my junk run, which was kind of fun. Nice to have her with me. Uh, she even brought me coffee, which was nice. And uh, we hit up some thrift stores and honestly the shelves were kind of bare I just don't even know what to say um, after I dropped her off I still hit another few thrift stores and my thrift haul is definitely not a whole much of a haul this go around uh, so my video is not gonna be super long on Friday but I will show you all the cool stuff that I did manage to find um, and then yesterday I spent quite a bit of time out in my greenhouse planting a bunch more seeds for my flower farm so excited for those and uh, watching them start popping up in the greenhouse um, when I'm out there now I'm all I'm surrounded by all sorts of little uh, green babies that are <laughs> are all poking their heads out of the dirt so that's nice uh, it's kind of it makes me feel like spring and today the sun is shining a little bit and it doesn't look like we have any snow on the forecast for a long time hopefully <laughs> so that's a good thing I'm so tired of the snow um, anyway, today I have a, what I guess I could call a thrift flip for you. Um, I decided to start going through some of the wall art I had hanging around in my kitchen and I had some stashed in my bump. I still have a bunch stashed out of my bump out. I, there's no way I could have gotten it all done in a week, but I pulled some um, to get done for you for this video. And uh, so there are some pictures, a couple other pieces, a clock, and then I decided Decided to go ahead and try my hand at uh, pressed flower art. So I took some of the frames that I was uh, tearing down and painting and actually used them to uh, put some pressed flowers in. So it's the first time I've ever done that. I think they turned out really well and I can't wait to show them to you. So uh, they're kind of towards the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, and if you wanna see more content like this and kind of what I'm doing here at the cottage in my kitchen, AKA my studio, please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the little notification bell, and that will let you know when I upload new content. Currently, I'm trying to stick to Tuesdays and Fridays. So uh, that's that could change you never know but for now that's what I'm kind of trying to stay to stay with um, and then uh, if you like the video please remember to give it a thumbs up and uh, then I'd love to hear your thoughts at the end uh, let me know in the comments below which of the ones uh, which of the projects your favorite one was for this week so anyway thank you so much for being here and without further ado here are the projects that I completed for you for this week's video For project one, I had this really cute little bunny picture hanging around in my kitchen for a while. It's a watercolor and I just really like it for Easter, which is coming. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a makeover. I wasn't thrilled with the dark green frame and I thought it, it would look really cute with a white frame. So I taped it all off and gave it two good even coats of white swan, then went back and distressed with my damp shop towel. And once that was finished, I sealed it up with one even coat of Big Top. As I've said before, uh, DIY paint is a porous paint and can be reactivated with water. So you always want to make sure and seal it when you're done. Then I just removed my uh, tape from around it and washed it up really well with some Windex and a paper towel. And I absolutely love these little bunnies now. I think they're so much cuter with a white frame. Project two, I had this really pretty botanical print and to me the flowers on the front looked a little bit washed out and I thought maybe if I painted the frame a darker color it would help kind of pop them out a little bit. So I decided to go with Weathered Wood by DIY. I taped off the piece and then put two good even coats of Weathered Wood all over the frame. 
Once those were dry, I went back with my damp shop towel and did some distressing. And once that was done, I decided to finish this piece with DIY's white wax. I really love the combination of weathered wood and white wax. To me, it looks just like weathered wood. So you can't go wrong as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I put the wax on with a brush, wiped back the excess with a shop towel, removed the tape, gave it a good bath with some Windex, and this piece was done. next piece I don't even know how long I've had I know it's been kicking around in my storage unit here at the cottage for a long time so I decided it was time to fix it so I took it outside and gave it a good coat of Rust-Oleum 2x flat white on both sides brought it back in and decided I wanted each of the panels a different color so I painted one apothecary one summer crush and one faded burlap gave them two good even coats of paint then distressed with my shop towel and I sealed these up with a coat of Big Top and I love how it came out. four is this really cute set of prints that I got at the dollar estate sale not too long ago and although the gold frame was in good condition I really thought that I wanted to paint them a color so I landed on DIY's aviary and again same process taped it off gave it two good even coats of aviary and with this one I decided to seal it with DIY white wax so here I am just putting the wax on taking it off with a shop towel and then peeling back the tape and giving them a bath and then this project is also complete. Clock is another thing I've had sitting around for quite a while and first thing I did was made sure it worked and it did so I took out the face and cleaned it and gave it a coat of Rust-Oleum uh, 2x brown uh, spray paint and then decided to paint this one apothecary so I gave it two good even coats of apothecary I did go back and pounce over it just to give it a little bit of texture and then I began distressing and I'm just using my damp shop towel to take off a little bit of that paint and this piece I also decided to use DIY's big top to seal. Once that was done I just had to reattach the clock and this piece was finished. On to the pieces that took some serious time. These two frames I picked up at the Dollar Estate sale and the first thing I needed to do was get them fixed because the paint they had put on them was bubbled all around the sides. So I took a little screwdriver and took as many of the bubbles off and then sanded it really well to make sure my paint would stick. Then I decided it was time to take them apart so I had to snip the wire take out the little eyelets that they had to hang them from and get the paper off the back of each one. Once I got the paper off, then I had to take all the nails out 
and then I was finally able to start painting these frames and I used DIY's crinoline to paint them. I gave them each two good even coats of paint. I distressed them back with a damp shop towel just to bring some of that beautiful gold color back through the paint and show off some of that gorgeous detail in these frames. And my last step with them is I finished them up with a coat of DIY's Big Top to seal. And then I set the frames aside. <clears throat> Then it was a matter of starting to disassemble the botanical prints that had been in there before. Uh, the prints themselves were a postcard that had been not only taped but glued onto the mat. So I had to take a knife and actually remove it. And then I used the postcard to draw out a template. And then I used my paper cutter to make sure I got a really even cut um, for both of these. The watercolor paper is what I'm going to be using to attach my flowers to. Once I get each piece cut, I use some uh, masking tape to tape them onto the mats and then I'm finally ready to start playing with the flowers. This was my first time ever using pressed flowers and I learned quite a bit along the way. Uh, here I am just arranging everything kind of where I want it. And a couple things I learned was that uh, sometimes you can paint the glue on and sometimes you just have to use a dot or two. And the flimsier flowers that are thin like tissue paper are really, really difficult to uh, paint or get glue on and not tear. So um, it was definitely a process. I, I learned quite a bit as I went, uh, but it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it. Once I was done, I just gave the glass a really good cleaning with some Windex and paper towels, and then I was able to finally put this piece back together. I did have to put new hardware in the back of it uh, with some little pins, but I think these turned out so cute. project I decided to stick with the pressed flower theme and I took these two wood frames that I'd had sitting around in my kitchen that had these bizarre backs in them and I took the backs out and then removed the little nails that were holding them in and decided to cut out a piece of foam board for each one as their backing so I measured it out uh, made myself a little template and then cut that out with a razor blade here I'm just making sure it fits. Then I decided I wanted the back of these to be pretty just in case somebody wanted to ever put these in an easel. So I cut out some cardstock, spray foamed or used spray adhesive and put that down on the back of each of the pieces of uh, the foam board. Then I covered the front with some fabric that I had here at the cottage. And again, just used some spray adhesive and put that uh, piece of foam board down, smoothed out any wrinkles, and then I used my uh, spray adhesive to just go around the edges and, and uh, fold up all the edges around the cardstock. And here I am just dry fitting it, make sure, making sure it fit in the frame. And then it was time to actually paint my frames. And I went with Aviary by DIY for these, gave them two good even coats, both front and back and then went back in with my damp shop towel, Distressed, and I sealed these with DIY's white wax. So here I am just brushing that wax on and then removing any excess with that paper towel. Now I decided I wanted to do a fern on one and some lavender on the other. So here I am with the fern, very, very carefully brushing some glue on and then I'm going to turn it over and just place it on the fabric. 
and then I just kind of poke it down onto the fabric and make sure everything's seated pretty well. And then I went over every single leaf, made sure it was glued down, and then sealed it with some of the glue. So here I am just kind of making sure all the leaves are seated and then sealing it with the glue. I did the same process with the lavender, just picked up each individual piece, coated the back with some glue, placed it down, poked it down onto the fabric, and then covered it with another coat of the glue just to seal it in. Once that was done, I decided they needed a word, and I love the French words um, on these, and so I am not going to try and pronounce it, but I did the French word for lavender, uh, and I put that on the top here using just some stays on ink and some stamps I got off of Amazon, and I did the same thing for the fern. I was using a piece of IOD backing for the little stamps, but for some reason my R would not stick, so I just stamped it separately, and then since I'd been using the E, I had to stamp it separately as well. Once that was done, it was finally time to put a little hot glue in these frames and get my art put in them. So I was so happy to have these done and I have to say I'm pretty happy with how they came out. today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I liked making it for you. I really enjoyed doing the pressed flower art and I am excited to try it again in the future. So now I can hardly wait for spring to get here so I can have actually grab some uh, more flowers to press. So um, anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your week. I, I hope you'll think about subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss anything from here. Uh, I am going to have a good week because I've got a shipment of tropicals coming in either Wednesday or Thursday, so that should be fun. And there's a really good chance that I might be putting a video of that on my channel, so stay tuned. And uh, on Friday, I will have my short little thrift haul <laughs> for you. And uh, I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for, for being here. And I hope to see you Friday. Bye. Bye.